People come from all over the world to marvel at the dinosaurs, the mummies, the exhibits that explain and illustrate the biological and cultural diversity that's on this planet. But less than 1% of what's in the building is on display. That means we have 99% more totem poles, more mummies, more elephants behind the scenes. And daily, scientists study this material to explain the past, evaluate the present, and predict the future. And my job is to take care of this material and make it available for scientific study. How did I get a gig like this? I grew up in Kenya. My dad worked for a bank. We were posted in Nairobi in the late 60s. I was 11 years old when I moved there. And I immediately became fascinated with the butterflies that were flying around the gardens. And I started collecting them, and every night I would identify them with the insect book. And one day, I saw a swallowtail, iridescent blue I'd never seen before in my life. And I looked through the book and couldn't find it at all. And I was convinced I'd found a new species to science. I told my mom, she said, well, you should tell that to the curator of insects at the National Museums of Kenya. I said, really? Keep in mind, I'm like 12 years old at this point. So I put my new species of science into a little plastic box with a little clear lid, and we drove down to the National Museums, and Mom takes me around the back of the building, which in those days was a brick, double-story building, and she points to a set of stairs leading up to a metal door on the second story, and she said, the insect collection's up there, off you go. And I said, you're not coming with me? And she said, nope, you're on your own. And I will never forget walking up these stairs with my new species to science, banging on the metal door. The door opens, and there standing in the doorway is a six-foot-six six Irishman with a bright red beard, so long he could have tucked it into his belt. And he's, and he's in a white lab coat. And he says, yes. And I said, sir, I have a new species to science. And he looks at the butterfly, and he looks at me, and he says, follow me. And he takes me into a room that's about half the size of this auditorium, and down every wall were cases stacked three high. He starts opening up every door, pulling out the, the drawers, and in every case were hundreds of butterflies that looked just like mine. I felt about this high. And he looks at me, and he says, Yeah, that's one of the more common butterflies we have in Nairobi, but I have never seen a better prepared specimen brought to me by an amateur. How'd you do it? I said, well, I had a piece of styrofoam, and I stole some of my mom's sewing pins. And he said, oh, no, no, here, we just got a shipment from London of professional entomological pins. Take some, and here's a proper spreading board. Bring me some more specimens. And to this day, I can feel the switch inside of me being turned on. That 20-minute interaction with the curator of insects at the museum, facilitated by my mom, played a hugely significant role in me getting to where I am today. And if you know of a kid or an adult that's fascinated with frogs, with bugs, with plants, nurture that fascination, cherish it. Have them come down to a museum near them and talk to the people that take care of these collections and study them. Because these same people are, may go on to become the experts on the frogs and the primates, the plants and the mummies. And our understanding of the world and our solutions to problems that plague our world are dependent on these people.